Okay, let's talk about homeschool online math programs. And if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you are a homeschool parent and you're just doing some uh, general research on various options for your child or children when it comes to mathematics. Of course, uh, online math programs are very popular and can be very good. But uh, what I wanna do in this particular video is give you some real uh, specific factors that you should be evaluating in any uh, curriculum that you might be considering when it comes to homeschooling mathematics online. So I'm gonna get into that in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades and uh, over those years I've constructed uh, several middle school and high school uh, online uh, math courses for homeschoolers to include uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and pre-calculus. So I've been working with homeschoolers for many, many years successfully. If you want to check out my uh, full homeschool program, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. But what I'm going to be giving you here, this advice um, and guidance comes from many, many years of experience working with a wide variety of homeschoolers. So um, if you stick around for a couple minutes, it's definitely going to help you focus uh, whether you use my program or another program. It's just good information that you should know. And you probably already know some of this stuff, but let's go ahead and get into it now. So I kind of broke it up in a little kind of graphical uh, organizer here. So let me go ahead and start with the first factor that you need to consider. and Probably the number one factor or the most important factor when it comes to learning mathematics, and that is the teacher. So if you're looking at an online video-based um, program, and of course it should be a video-based program, you want to know who is making these videos. Who is your child watching? Okay, so who is the teacher? And uh, more importantly, what's their qualifications? Do they have a degree in mathematics? Are they a certified teacher? How many years experience do they have? So for myself, for example, I have a degree in mathematics. I have a master's degree. Uh, but those formal qualifications, of course, I'm a certified um, teacher as well. That's not what makes me an effective teacher. What makes me an effective teacher is years and years and years, decades of teaching mathematics. So it is an art form, something that you get better at. So what you want uh, to evaluate, probably the number one uh, factor is who is the teacher? Will your child have a great, highly qualified, experienced teacher? Because if they do not, then all these other factors are going to be um, you know, less important. Okay, so make sure... Um, that you know who the teacher is in any particular program. And of course, you uh, you know, um, yeah, hopefully that information is kind of obvious. If it isn't, I would encourage you to ask questions. Do your due diligence because the more um, you do your research as right now you're watching this video, that's excellent, the better off your child and you are gonna be in terms of homeschooling. Uh, because you know, there's no guarantees. When you try a program, you're hoping that it's going to work, but it, things could turn out a little bit different. You may need to make adjustments, so you definitely want to do all your research up front. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the next uh, factor, and that would be uh, when it comes to homeschool, homeschooling online, uh, you could be uh, technically using like an online school, or are you going to use like an independent study program like mine? So uh, schools would be like things that you can enroll in, um, there's a lot of different schools out there that work with homeschoolers, so it's kind of a kind of a hybrid, or maybe just basically um, a hybrid program where you know you're thinking of homeschooling as 100% independent study, but actually your child could be enrolled in like an uh, an online school where they handle the curriculum as well. But again, whether you're dealing with uh, a school, an online school, or an independent study program, you want to know who is going to be the teacher, what's the qualifications, etc. So these are uh, some options you're going to have to uh, do, you know, ask yourself, hey, do you want to just outsource this to a school where they'll do everything for you, uh, grades, transcripts, etc. Now, uh, that sounds pretty convenient, and a lot of families, uh, a lot of parents might like that, but that's not necessarily going to be the best option for you in terms of uh, uh, the most effective math course for your child. So just because a school saying, hey, we could do all these different things for you and, hey, we have a great reputation, uh, you know, think it through uh, because, again, the, a lot of the online um, 
uh, schools out there, their curriculums are maybe not so good. Okay, so you can kind of read through the line there. So let's go ahead and talk about this next point. Again, everything I'm talking about here, uh, well, with the exception of the teacher, because this is an absolute, but uh, in terms of a school or independent study program, this is going to be different for every family, okay, based upon your needs. And that's going to bring me to my third point here. And uh, you want to uh, pick a curriculum or an online program that's very flexible. So what do I mean by that? Well, you know, things are going to happen through the school year. You may need to change your uh, schedule or you might uh, want to use uh, some more material, material, different material that's not in that particular curriculum. So you want a, a flexible program. There are some programs out there, online programs, that are very um, uh, rigid, if you will. In other words, you have to complete this section before the next section opens up, and then you have to test into this before this. That um, That's typically going to be uh, very... Um, rigid for more, most families. And that can get you in trouble. Uh, what you want is something that's going to be nice and easy to navigate and use, very flexible, um, so you can kind of modify that program in ways that you want. So you want to be looking for flexibility in any online uh, program. Now, of course, if you uh, decide to go with like an online school, you're really not going to have um, that kind of flexibility as much as if you use more like an independent study a program that's pretty typical for m most uh, big homeschool uh, brands, th uh, brand names that you are aware of. So let's talk about the next uh, thing, and that would be support. So what kind of support do programs offer? Uh, do they offer like extra live uh, chat? You know, can you call in? Uh, are there kind of webinars? Whatever the case might be, is there email support? Now I'll say from my program, uh, the way I built it out is uh, we do have uh, a contact form, but my instruction, um, my courses are so comprehensive in terms of the lessons, I literally go through 100% of all the practice problems. So there's video solutions for every single problem in my course. So as long as you're watching the videos, we have a very low level of um, need for su actual support because uh, it's built into the course, okay? but. For most online programs, you're not going to have that kind of um, um, benefit in terms of mine. Mine's kind of pretty unique in, uh, with respect to that. When I'm talking about answers to practice problems, I'm talking about, let's say we have here the homework problem. We're not talking about a basic answer key, like you would look up in the back of a textbook and you see the answer. And that's one thing. What I'm talking about, like in, in my program, is a full video explanation. I'm walking through explaining every single problem. And your child needs that. Now, if they get lost in, in various problems and they don't know what to do, then you want to be looking at, hey, what level of support does this particular program have? Okay, whether that be um, extra help. And uh, most programs will describe that. So take a look at that because your child's definitely going to um, need extra help from time to time. So again, another factor to, uh, to consider. All right. Now, uh, these um, things that I'm doing here are, are no particular order, but let's get to this next one here. Um, of course, I wanted to start off with the teacher because that is the most important factor. The next thing is try before you buy. Okay. So for any online program, you should have an opportunity to see some uh, samples, more than just one or two. Okay. Try to you maybe sign up for a free trial. Yeah, in my uh, program, I have free previews. Very, very comprehensive. I have a lot of samples, and, and you know, there's really no question in terms of uh, my teaching style, especially on my YouTube channel, as I, I have over a thousand plus math videos. So you want to make sure that you've seen or you can see more than just a, um, one or two token um, previews or samples in a program before you buy to, and commit to it. Now, a couple of things here. When you try a program, you, uh, the parent, should do your due diligence. I'm going to suggest that you first evaluate uh, the program. If you like it, then you should have your child uh, try it as well, and then you can make a joint uh, decision there. Because you want to pick a program where your child, you know, give them some buy-in, you know, uh, especially at the middle and high school math level, see if they like it. Okay, so definitely don't buy anything blindly and then try it. I think that's a very uh, risky uh, kind of move. So, a lot, you know, that's why you want to do your due diligence up front. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, and that is reviews, and I didn't write it in here. 
reviews and recommendations. Okay, you got to be very careful with this because you'll do your online uh, research. You're going to read about all different sorts of curriculums. You're going to uh, tell you, uh, you're going to read from various different um, families and parents. Oh, this program worked the best for my child. I highly recommend it. The, and then you'll, you know, there'll be all sorts of uh, postings and reviews on every single curriculum out there. Then you can also hear from people maybe like in your homeschool group or other people that you know that are going to recommend things to you. Hey, this program will be great for your child. I think they like it. Now, I'm not saying to ignore all those things, but what I've seen through the years is that um, some parents will just use those reviews to just kind of um, make a decision based upon, you know, the reviews. They put too much weight in here. So, um, you know, read reviews, get information about particular programs, but, you know, be careful in terms of feeling pressure to, you know, selected a program just because it worked for someone else. Okay, remember, every child is different, and you want to just look at um, things by case by case. And again, in your family, you might have one math program for one child and another math program for another child because they learn differently. Okay, so again, you want to do your due diligence and not, you know, you know, read the reviews, get those recommendations, but don't put too much um, uh, bearing, you know, on that. Don't feel pressured. You have to do something just because other people are doing it or it's popular. All right, so let's talk about the next thing, and that is cost. And, of course, um, this is a uh, even a bigger factor. This is always a factor with uh, families because homeschooling can be very expensive, but you want to get a lot of value for your money, okay? And uh, uh, like in my program, uh, my courses, I have a monthly membership that's very, very affordable. Then I have other plans as well. So you want to make sure that you're finding something that's not going to be so excessively expensive. And, um, you know, this kind of goes back to this try before you buy. If you buy a very expensive program and then midway through, you figure, hey, you're going to have to, you know, change curriculums. Not only, you know, have you lost some money potentially, you lost time, which is even mo more um, uh, important. So look at uh, programs that aren't, aren't going to be so excessive in your budget, okay? And don't always correlate, again, that the most expensive programs are going to be the best programs. That's not necessarily the case. Um, I like to believe that uh, my program, um, you know, over delivers in terms of values, very, very great, you know, affordable option for you. So there are things out there um, that you can do within a budget, okay? So this is a consideration. Um, again, don't feel compelled that you have to spend, you know, a lot of money to get a great program. And uh, lastly, I want to talk about uh, this. And, and what I'm talking about here is the course comprehensive. Okay, do you feel like um, this online math course is going to truly deliver, you know, a rigorous uh, education to your child? Okay, versus maybe some other options. And this is really important because, um, unfortunately, a lot of parents um, will, you know, they think they're picking a good program. Uh, they've done all their research, okay, everything seems to check, but, uh, you know, they pick a program, they do this program, their child likes the program, the parent likes the program, but guess what? And I've seen this story many, many times through the years. Um, as the child progresses in their education, maybe goes off to college or takes the SAT, ACT, whatever the case is, they find out that, you know what, that education was not as rigorous as what other programs are out there. And then now their child is really, uh, unfortunately, kind of undereducated. Okay, they didn't get a, get a strong enough curriculum. Okay, you got to be very careful here that um, uh, the program that you're selecting is going to be rigorous. Okay, you want a very comprehensive program uh, for your child. Again, that's why it's important to look at all these factors. Who's the teacher? How much instruction is there? And look at the samples. Okay, does it look rigorous? You know, does it, you know, and then we'll obviously read reviews about it. But, you know, in the end, you know, you want to uh, be able to select an online or any, uh, whether this is online or not, you want to select a comprehensive math education for your child. So even if they like the program, even, even if you like it, and there's a lot, you know, a lot of uh, brands and options out there that's you know students like oh this is fun I like this this seems easy or it's you know easy to use well that can be a little bit 
um, you know, you know, deceiving in terms of it might be easy, but it might be just be too easy. So you need something that's rigorous, especially, okay, if your child has any uh, desires of going to college, okay, because this mathematics is going to get uh, very challenging. So, you know, uh, things like at the pre-algebra level can be like, mm, it's kind of hard. But when you get to pre-calculus, if you didn't have a, a strong algebra background, geometry background, and especially this shows up like on the SAT test, ACT test, college entrance, CLEP exams. Um, but if you take a course like, let's say, pre-calculus, and you're not fully, you know, uh, prepared for that, i.e. you haven't taken rigorous math courses before this, this is going to be extremely difficult to pass. And quite frankly, if you don't get the pre-calculus, you're going to be behind the power curve in college if you're considering any sort of college major that has that's a STEM-related major, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And even if you're thinking, well, my child's not going to major in any of those things. They're going to be a liberal arts major. Well, you just don't know that, okay? People change their minds. So you always want to err on the side of a very comprehensive math curriculum. But anyways, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, hopefully these are some things that you've already been thinking about. But, uh, you know, my uh, the whole purpose of this video is to put these factors into focus. Of course, there's other factors as well, you know, in terms of usability. You know, um, is it easy to connect online? Do you have to use a certain browser? Do you have to download, download certain software? So... You know, there's other factors out there. That's why you want to try things before you buy things. But it's a big responsibility uh, to homeschool, okay, for sure. But uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I have the greatest respect for homeschoolers and homeschooling because the benefits really, in my opinion, outweigh uh, the cost. And the cost are, you know, you doing um, the extra work and all, making these selections, okay? And hopefully a video like this is going to help you out. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button and maybe even considering to my YouTube channel, even if you don't use Tablet Class Math, I'm perfectly fine with that. I hope that you would subscribe and your child or children uh, will watch my YouTube videos because I, I've been teaching math for a long time. As of this video, I think I have about 317,000 subscribers and maybe like 37 million views. So there's a lot of people that watch my videos because I'm very passionate about teaching mathematics. So um, I hope that your child will come back, at least watch my videos, and maybe even one day take one of my math courses. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your homeschooling adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.